Blastomy, the new tool designed to simplify the task of creating coin or corner stones. Here we see the conventional method. The plasterer has to measure, machine, cut to size, erect and level a series of lats before applying the plaster. As every plasterer knows, working between lats and steel nails is awkward and time consuming. The following day the lats are removed, often causing chipping of the coin stones. It is then necessary to fill in and repair the coin stones when the lats have been removed. Not any longer, introducing Plastermate, the revolutionary new tool for plasterers. Simply erect two vertical lats 45 centimeters from the external corner. Apply a final coat of plaster, screed and float in the usual way. Using the levels, position the new Plastermate on the pre-marked lap. With a special 70 degree trowel, simply cut out the groove approximately 12 millimeters deep. This leaves 6 mm of plaster for a perfect finish. Plastermate can easily be adjusted to cut grooves of different widths. Next, open your plaster mate and position vertically to mark off the half coin stones. Then, using your steel trowel, cut out the half coin stone. A little touch up with your sponge float and it's another job well done with the help of your Plastermate. Plastermate saves 50% of your time, 75% of your money and does a 100% better job. The new Ashlar Plastermate will solve all your ribbed and Ashlar plastering problems. The Ashlar Plastermate is 2 meters in length and can be adjusted to form different width lines and combs with a specially designed trowel. Apply a final coat of plaster approximately 15 millimeters deep. Mark with your chalk line, position your Plastermate and simply cut the ribbing horizontally or vertically as required. Use a 2 inch brush and water to create a smooth finish. You now have a complete finish without any joining. When the ribbing is complete, sponge, float and nap. Another great job from Ashlar Plastermate with no lats to be removed, no chipping and no filling in. The Ashlar Plastermate seen here can also be used for detailing Ashlar cuts in one coat render at various depths and widths. 
Here you see 